Man, oh man. I hate doing this to you guys, but today's another one of those good news, bad news situations. So, we'll start with the bad news. The bad news is, I got to the hotel here uh, in Milan, Detroit, or Milan, Michigan, for Detroit Hood TV's Pour Your Own Prep deal, and it started downpouring. It was terrible. Um, with that being said, they had to cancel the event. So, I don't know what's going on just yet. There might be a reschedule thing. I don't know. I'm here at the track right now waiting to figure that out. But I brought the car with me. So a couple things are gonna happen here. Number one, I made a couple small changes. Uh, I put the new front wheels on. I got some more front end travel. I still haven't hooked up some of the stuff I need to yet, but it is what it is. We're gonna rock and roll like we do anyway. I gotta find some nitrous, and here's where the good news comes in. It's drying up. The reason they gotta cancel the event is because the ground where everybody's got a park and the spectators and everything is going to be so soggy. So with that being said, I'm going to go race on the streets of Detroit tonight. We're going to make that happen one way or another. And it might start with me making some test passes right here because nobody's here. So we might, might as well do that if I can. I'm going to work on the car a little bit, get it figured out. And that's the good news, bad news. We're not going to do Detroit Hood TV's PYOP, but I'm here. I traveled all this way. I got the car with me. I know a lot of them folks want to talk that smack that I won't get down on the street. I won't travel to race this, that, and the other. We'll do it tonight. There's a couple of good dudes, and I said some, you know, hey, maybe if we can get a couple guys together, we'll do like a slow car cash days like we do at home. You know what I mean? Everybody throw in a little bit to the pot or something, and let's go out there and have some fun. So let me get this thing started up, figured out, checked over everything find myself some nitrous and go hit the streets oh yeah because i'm wearing the shirt duh but you thought it was just a t-shirt we're gonna prove you wrong
Well, I got a buy into the second round, which was actually the semifinal. I pulled the guy that uh, actually hit me up and really kind of started this whole thing and said, hey, I'll race you on the street. Um, him and I got out here, we get ready to start unloading the cars, and now it's raining. So, I don't really know. I mean, personally, I don't really care. We, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm out here having fun. It was a $50 buy-in. We're gonna go find out what we're gonna do and what the game plan's gonna be from here on out because I think we might be screwed on running the rest of this race. Which sucks, but that's Trace. You know, we knew we had a chance to rain. It is what it is. Man, I hate to see it happen like this, but the rain got us today. So uh, the guy who was holding the money walked up and said, hey, here it is. We're gonna split the pot up, bam, bam, bam. Three people left, it was a $450 pot. So we all got 150. I want a huge shout out to Detroit Street Racing and Damn Race Cars. They both put money in the pot on top of what we had. That was incredible with them. And everybody that raced tonight, it was a good time. So now what we're gonna figure out is if Magnolia doesn't get canceled tomorrow, we're gonna go to No Prep Mania. If it does, we uh, get canceled. We might go up to Lapeer, and then I might try to like grudge race the damn race car guys up there or something, and then maybe come back to the street. I don't know, we'll see. But it is what it is, it's racing. All right, so we hit Detroit last night, and then tonight we have made it to No Prep Mania. Um, I'm gonna play some clips, hit that slow-mo re-roll, you all know how it is, throw some music in there, whatever. But tonight, I'm just gonna run testing soon. Uh, I don't have hard tires, and the car is really too slow with small tires. So it's really not gonna work out. But because I'm working the booth, look, I got the booth, the shirts up, brought the car up here with me so I can do everything one man show, get it working and twerking, and what I did do though is uh, put all the timing back in because when you guys see the street footage you'll see it was uh, all over the place everything I kept trying to take power out power out to make it work it didn't work so tonight this surface at least in the 60 foot at least in the 60 foot it's, it should take everything from home so we're gonna try to give it everything from home see what happens I got a few grudge races locked in uh, some for fun some for 20 bucks whatever so we're gonna have some fun and just see what happens at No Prep Mania. First grudge race of the night, and it's a W. Fool's Gold takes a W uh, against, I don't know, is it just a black SN95 Mustang? I really didn't even ask him, he just asked if I wanted to run. We ran for 20 bucks to keep it fun, and uh, I just, uh, you know, they had a little problem with the light at first, but we got that sorted, got out there. I left the hole first, I was out and gone, and just no, wasn't able to catch me. So, felt pretty good. It was, uh, it was, I had to drive a little bit, but it wasn't enough to have to lift. So uh, I think we'll just go back, try it again, and see what happens. There's plenty of people that want to grudge race, so we'll rock and roll from there. on during the burnout which is my fault but shit happens
That was probably the best 60 foot I've ever had. It felt like it. Yeah. It, I was on it that time. Now. I, from what I felt, it felt good. Now I just steer it, but that's normal, so. This is the factory 74 steering, you know, fucking end links and everything, so. Yeah, whole gearbox. I think for what it is, it's pretty fun, you know? So, good shit, brother. That's gonna be a wrap on No Prep Mania. Tonight, uh, got did a little test and tune, got to make four hits. First three were against people. Um, I won every one that I lined up against, so that was pretty cool, that's a first ever. <laughs> and uh, fourth one was just the very end, just because I wanted to try something. Didn't work out exactly how I wanted to, but it is what it is. And that's it. Billy won small tire. I had a good night, all is right with the world. I think that somebody wants to race me on the street tomorrow, so we might do that, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I gotta figure out what the game plan is and go from there. So there might be some more to this video. This might be the end. We'll just have to see.
there you have it. It's, uh, let's see if I can get myself in the light here. I guess it doesn't matter. We jumped out the box. We uh, lined up with this turbo car, uh, turbo duster. I don't know uh, what all motor was in it and everything else. I just saw a big turbo under the hood. Had a little confusion in, in the first race about whether or not I was ready. Kind of my fault. I said when the headlights are on, well, the one headlight was on, but I meant when I flashed the high beams and both headlights come on. But neither here nor there. I manned up, G'd up, paid the 100. I said, hey, why don't we switch lanes and run it back? The guy was cool with it, so we let it cool down. Uh, I made sure my stuff was good to go. Got a little greedy on the timing because I felt like the first pass was, uh, I felt like we were, he left before me and we were neck and neck. Or not neck and neck, but he left before me and we were the same distance the entire way I felt like. I felt like he never really got out on me. So I was like, got ah, a little bit more timing, I'll jump out on him, stay out there. Because it's a turbo car, he might have some for me on the big end. Unfortunately, as you guys saw, it went left again. Uh, it went left when I corrected and it went right. It, it pointed, I saw his car in my windshield. And that, at that point I had to let out. At first I really wasn't trying to let out because I was like, I think I'm in front of him, I don't want to let out. Let's see if I can drive through it. Unfortunately it didn't work that way. But look, that's racing. Had a great weekend everywhere. You know what I mean? Got to do a lot of racing and I'm not mad at it. I gotta get this thing fixed and figure out why it's going left. I don't know why it's going left. I'm not sure. I can't figure it out. I'm gonna have to probably get a chassis guy and figure out why this thing's going left. Uh, at the track, it went left a little bit, but in, uh, on the streets, just it always wants to go left. I don't know. I don't know. We'll get it figured out and we'll try it again. That's all we can do. So now that I'm back to the house for the night, um, I guess I kind of mind screwed people on Facebook. It wasn't really my intent. It's just, I, I guess the whole gravity of the thing kind of hit me. Like when I turned, well, during that last race, I saw the side of my man's car through my windshield. And uh, I just, I can't keep racing it like this. Like, you know. Uh, on the drive back here and everything I'm like I, I don't know what I'm gonna do and honestly I don't know how much it's gonna cost and what it's gonna take and why I don't even know why it's doing what it's doing so uh, I need to take a little break for a minute step away really really put some time and energy and effort and probably money and everything else into the car and get it going straight uh, because it's not a super fast car you know it does very well I think for what it is and I think a lot of people watching this video will see that and people who watched it race and everything else so I just need to get it sorted and you know I, it's taken too big of a risk it's it's too much of a chance there's no reason that car should be doing that and I should have to drive it that much and I just at this point I don't think that much risk is worth the reward it's one thing if it's me if I'm going down the road by myself and it's all over the place and everything whatever but you know, feeling like, man, I almost like plowed into the side of that guy. And now going back and watching the video, some, you know, some angles don't look that bad. Some look pretty bad, whatever. But for me personally, I don't think it's fair to the guy in the other lane for me to keep screwing around until my shit is right. So with that being said, we're going to fix it up. I don't know how we're going to get there, what it's going to take and everything else. But we'll get it fixed up and we'll get back to racing. But for now... Need to just calm down a little bit. And I think anybody watching this video can respect that. You know, I got enough common sense in me to say, hey, it's not fair to the guy in the lane next to me. And I need to get my shit together. So that's what we're going to do. It's not a super sad thing. I'm just a little disappointed because I've worked so hard on the car. And the car's come so far and it keeps doing this. And I can't figure it out. And I'm beating myself up over it. But maybe it's something simple. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe I just need to get some help. And that's it. You know, I just need to find somebody who's really, you know, tuned into the chassis stuff and can say, hey, dummy, you know, it's something that I don't know. And maybe, it, you know, somebody with a lot more experience does. So with that being said, we're going to take a little break. We're going to make sure that things right before we uh, try putting it out on the street again. Or, you know, we're at least going to fix a bunch of stuff and test and everything else and, and see what we can do from there. So 
Big shout out to everybody for watching the video. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, do the whole damn thing. You guys are the best. I love you guys. But for now, I'm out.